Red from Metagang, and today we have a updated deck profile for you guys after some long, heavy testing duels, all that. It's a uh, Phantom Knight Raid Raptors. So getting into it, we'll go right into the Raid Raptor lineup with our Strangolanius. So Strangolanius is the, one of the newest Raid Raptor supports that came out in Phantom Rage. So as long as you control a Dark Monster, you can special summon this card. And if you control a XV monster that has a Dark XV for material, uh, Dark XZ monster as like XZ material. You could target level 4 or level right after monster in your graveyard and special summon it. We play uh, 2 Vanishing. Vanishing just, you know, oh, we're going to normal summon and then special summon a level 4 Raid Raptor from our hand with its effects negated. Uh, 2 Mimicry. For the uh, Phantom Knights lineup, I find Mimicry pretty well. I was playing it at a 3, was finding it a little bit bricky. Uh, decided to cut it down to two, still somewhat bricky, but it works out pretty well, especially if you see more hang lights and you do raid raptors. Um, if you normal or special summon this card, you can increase its level and another raid rap uh, that, that another raid raptor monsters level by one. Okay, big whoop. We don't care about that. We only play the even numbers. Um, if this card's in your graveyard, you can banish it and get any raid raptor card. So it can be like your monsters, your like Raid Raptor spells, or if Raid Raptor had traps, which they actually do, you can get your trap. And yeah, um, moving on, we play one Raider's Wings, so this card's pretty unique. It counts as both Phantom Knight and Raid Raptor. Um, if this card is in your hand or graveyard, you can detach material from an XE monster you control and special summon this card from the graveyard. And if you uh, use this card to make a Dark XE monster, uh, because this was used as material, your opponent can off target it with card effects. Uh, finishing off the Raid Raptor lineup, we have the one uh, Painlanius being able to target a Raid Raptor monster you control. It will special summon itself out to the field, become that level, and you take damage equal to the attack of that monster. One Singing Lanius, because if you control an XZ monster, you can special summon this card for free. Uh, going into the Phantom Knights lineup, we have three Silent Boots. So Silent Boots, if you control Phantom Knight's monster, you just get to special summon him from hand for free. Um, you can banish him from Grave and get a Phantom Knight Spell or Trap from your deck to your hand, which is pretty nice because you can get your rank up and make your bigger monsters. You can get your Fog Blades or Counter Trap to stall out your opponent if you're going to go first and hope to God you're going to blow them out when it comes back to you. Uh, there's a couple ways to look about it. Uh, two Torn Scales. We would play three if we had three. Sadly, we don't, so uh, we have two. Uh, you can discard any card and then send a Phantom Knights card from your deck to your graveyard. Okay, cool. Discard, I'm going to Foolish. Then, if he's in your graveyard, you can, and like, say he's in your graveyard and you activate uh, something like Phantom Knight's Sword to banish itself and then special summon any other Phantom Knight. Uh, whenever you banish a Phantom Knight card, so it can be like Silent Boots to Surge, it can be anything Phantom Knight being banished. Uh, this will special summon itself out from the grave, but it will banish and lose the field. Uh, to Ancient Cloak. Uh, Ancient Cloak, you could target a Dark Monster on the field if this card is in attack position. Change it to Defense, and then it will gain a 800 attack and defense boost until the end of your opponent's turn. Then you can banish this card, grab a Phantom Knight's card, and add it to your hand. Uh, one Ragged Gloves, uh, if you XD summon use the Ragged Gloves, XD monster gains an extra thousand. Cool. Attack boost. Um, banish it from Graves and any Phantom Knights card from your deck to the graveyard. Again, another Foolish Burial. Sweet. Uh, Phantom Knights, the, the Phantom Knights of Stain Greaves. Wow, can you get that out? So if you special summon a Phantom Knight monster while he's in your hand, you get to special summon that monster. And, uh, increase its level by one. That part is optional. So, you have your choice on keeping them a 3 or making them a 4. Uh, if this card's in your graveyard, you can banish them. Special Summon a Phantom Knight from your hand. And then you can increase this level by 1. Again, the level increase is optional. Um, for the Staple Wing Beast in the deck, we play the 1 Zephyros. Uh, either to pair up off of the uh, uh, Raid Raptor Link, the uh, Wise Tricks to uh, use him for Link Fodder to go into your Link 3 Bardish or your Simorg and then bouncing a card face up on the field back to bring him out for more plays. And then Dark Simorg, again, we're playing Simorg, 
link so on the intern we can pop him out and yeah your opponent can't set cards period uh, for hand traps you play two ash because honestly ash is one of the best hand traps in the game just being able to stop anything evolving the deck sending a special summon or any form of adding and to be funny we play two nibiru because sometimes the deck doesn't do well and your opponent tries to blow us out so nibiru is going to be your backup um going into our spells we play two or darkness uh or darkness you're just going to draw two cards banish a dark if you don't have a dark you send your whole hand to the graveyard one xd import so you target an xd monster you control and an opponent's monster uh if your xd monster has attack equal to or higher than the uh, opponent's targeted monster you get to take that monster as material one twin twisters just be oh no i lied i think yep two twin twisters that's what i get for not solving the deck but uh two twin twisters you just discard any card destroy two spell or traps on the field monster reborn because you know we love our bodies and we need to keep going uh soul shape force uh soul shape force is in here for the main purpose of to pair up with your y strikes and your force strikes to go into one of your link threes and then to turn your y strikes into an infinity in your combo so yeah Raid Raptor Nest. Um, with Nest, if you control two Raid Raptors, you get to add a Raid Raptor monster from your deck to your hand or graveyard to your hand. Uh, one fan might rank up Magic Force, so you're going to target a Dark XZ, banish that many material uh, Dark monsters from your greatest cost, and then based on the amount that you banish, you uh, fill in the rest of the stars. So, say you have uh, four. You activate that, targeting and banishing six darks. That would be a total of ten, so you can make your Raid Raptor Ultimate Falcon, for example. Um, the Phantom Knights rank up Magic Launch. So uh, target a dark XZ monster you control with no, mater with no material. Uh, XZ summon one monster that is one rank higher than that monster, and then that monster that you target in this spell card become attached to it as a material. And that's it for the spells. In traps we keep it pretty short and simple we don't play that many it's just your three phantom night fog blades uh targeting an effect monster on the field uh making it to where that monster can't attack can't be targeted for an attacks and its effects are negated uh one phantom knight sword just to give an extra protection 800 boost also the main purpose is to banish and then just special summon a great raptor monster i mean not great raptor phantom knight from your graveyard uh same thing with wings wings will give a 500 attack boost instead with protection, but also same thing, banish special summon one from grave. And Raid Raptor Phantom Knight's Claw. Uh, again, uh, more recent, newer support form out of Phantom Rage. When monster effect is activated, detach material from a dark XC monster you control. Negate the activation if you do destroy that card, then if the detach was Phantom Knight, Raid Raptor XC Dragon card, or Raid Raptor XC monster, you gain attack equal to the monster you destroyed. So not bad being able to make your dudes a pretty big beater. Um, going off into the extra deck more, we play one white Strix. So white Strix is going to, on summon, allow you to special summon out any level four or lower dark wing beast monster from your deck with its effects negated in defense. And then if a Raid Raptor monster activate its effect while he is face up on the field, you get to take a Raid Ra uh, rank up Speller Trap I mean, spell. Wow, I can't talk. You get to take a rank up spell whenever a Raid Raptor activates its effect and set it on the field. Uh, Chair Beanie, because sometimes going into Wise Tricks isn't going to be the best play. Uh, Chair Beanie's there for the two level threes, mainly for uh, Phantom Knights, and then you can send a level three monster from your deck to the graveyard and then target one Burning Abyss. So, like, you can send any Phantom Knight and then target Chair Beanie. Uh, have Cherubini gain attack, but it's not going to matter because Cherubini is not going to stay on the field long enough for that. Um, the Smord Bird of Sovereignty, so uh, your opponent cannot target this card or Winged Beast cards points to with card effects. <coughs> oh, excuse me. Um, and main thing is, during the end turn, you get special summon a Winged Beast monster from your deck, equal up to the amount of spell and trap card zones not being used from yours and your opponent's side of the field. Uh, one Phantom Knight Bardish, 
So you're gonna send a Phantom Knight from your deck to your graveyard and put a Phantom Knight Spiral Trap uh, face down on your side of the field. I play uh, one Break Sword. Uh, break Sword is just detach material, target one card you control, one card your opponent controls, destroy him. When this card's destroyed, you get the special summon two Phantom Knight monster. It can be any two from the grave. Increase their levels by one. Uh, we play the four Strix just to detach and uh, search for one. Time Thief Redoer, uh, standby phase, yours and your opponent's. You get to take the top card of your opponent's deck. Uh, if it's a mod, you detach one depending on whatever one you detach, you get the effect. If it's a trap, you get to return a card. If it's a spell, you get to draw. And if it's a monster, he vanishes himself until the end of the turn. Um, one Evil Swarm Nightmare, just so that way you can book a moon the special summon. One Dark Rebellion Xyz Dragon, uh, mainly for the purpose of your Dark uh, Requiem for the uh, fact negation. If it's going to be needed, if not, then I mean, he's usually there for extra steps for your Arc Rebellion. But uh, still, continuing on, we have Raider's Knight. So Raider's Knight's also one of the newer support cards for Raider Raptor and Phantom Knight. So with this guy, you can detach a material and then uh, XE summon a monster that is one higher or lower than its rank, but destroy it during the end turn. Um, one Dark Requiem, uh, just in case if you know the Arc Rebellion seems to be uh, an issue to get into or if your opponent somehow gets a way around it. Uh, this is another way to just ensure like a big beat stick for games, typically. Um, also pretty good for monster negations if you make him turn one. Arc Rebellion XZ is a dragon, newer card, newer support. Uh, detached material, he'll gain the attack of all face-up monsters on the field, but he still has an XZ monster equipped it to him as material, and that effect activates, negate all other monsters. And uh, this card cannot be destroyed by card effects, I forgot about that. One Infinity, because it's easy to make with the Soul Shave and the Four Strix to, yeah. Um, once uh, you take a face up attack position monster, attach it, and then uh, you detach material and negate the monster effect, spell effect, trap effect, you name it, you say no. And then just for fun, we play two Ultimate Falcons just because it's pretty easy and accessible to get into. So, uh, yeah, your opponent can't do anything to Ulti Falcon, and neither can you, honestly, other than like Kaiju it. But, uh, yeah, it's unaffected by other card effects, which is nice. It's the towers of the deck. And then uh, during the end turn, your opponent's monsters would lose uh, a thousand attack. And then if you know your opponent happens to not have any monsters, then you would deal a thousand damage instead. Anyway, guys, uh, that's the profile. Hope you guys enjoyed. As usual, hit the like button. Subscribe, notification bell, leave a comment down below what you think, and yep, yeah, it's right from the game. We'll catch you in the next one, guys. Peace. Like and subscribe to Medigame. Hit the bell icon.